right, Kayla Miracle, we'll finally back at it. Yes. Uh, talk about your day so far, what are you feeling? It's been a long day, but honestly, I've been trying to be completely distracted from this. That's something I've learned from the Olympics to Oslo to here. You know, if you make the tournament big, it really wears you down. So, you know, getting outside, hanging out, I'm gonna steal some water. Um, so like last night, Terry's given a super inspiring speech. You know, I didn't hear a word. I was on my phone dealing with, you know, bachelorette party stuff for my sister. You know, I'm just like keeping myself distracted, just enjoying it, you know, go out when it's time for me to go out and just wrestle. So it's been a long day. Um, two really tough matches this morning and then, you know, this match, I wrestled it twice already and it's hard every single time. So I'm glad that it ended the way it did and fast so now I can go recover and be ready for tomorrow. You talked about that, you've seen her a couple of times already. So between the last one about the ballpark and this one, did you have any kind of game plan going in? Um, we, we talked about some technical things, but I think, you know, it's kind of the idea of what, what's her game plan going to be, and we thought it was going to be a push pace, and that's kind of what it was. But when people are wrestling, you, you can see in the first two matches, it's hard for me to wrestle if someone's not wrestling me. You know, like, China's, like, standing there. Uh, Arjbejan's, like, you know, so it's, it's weird. I don't know what to do. And she wrestled me, so it opened up that fireman's carry real nice. And... Uh, but yeah, so the game plan, we were thinking she was going to be pushing the pace and out of the ballpark, Kayla would have gotten effed up if that was her plan because I was, you know, just coming back, you know, still out of shape. Uh, but now, especially with this, it's like we've had to change things up. You know, I live on that bike. You know, Pritz is having me do bike matches all the time. So I feel like my shape is there and I was, you know, down 3-0 and... I was very calm. You know, I saw five minutes of wrestling left, and I knew that I, first match, I proved I can score 17 points, so I was prepared to do that if I had to. You talked about how long of a day it was, but let's move back a couple of months. Um, obviously, the injury, there was questions if, whether or not you'd even be here. Mm -hmm. So, talk about your mental preparation coming in if the physical aspect's not there. Uh, so, I think with Final X being pushed back, so our world team trials process, um, that being pushed back and then me having three tough matches with Jen Page who is strong as heck, she's gonna wrestle, you know, she's adopted that Nittany Lion style where she can scramble and stuff, so it really pushed me. So at that point I was like, oh, I'm physically good. You know, I'm, I'm ready to do anything. And then I think, not even just from the knee, but from learning, you know, Olympics, Oslo, the U.S. Open, any of those tournaments, you know, the less of a deal you make it, the easier it is to just go out for the six minutes and then face whatever the consequences are. And this consequence is wrestling in the World Finals, so. Now you talk about the World Finals, you were there last year, yep. so you have experience. What's tonight gonna be look like? I mean, l last year you had a lot of questions, I'm sure, going in, mm -hmm. but your experience, so now it's a lot easier going into it, knowing what to expect. Yeah, uh, I think just kind of the same game plan as today, you know, six minutes for six minutes, and that's all I can do, and I think that was my game plan last year at Oslo um, for the first the first day, right? And it worked. Um, but that second day, I think I, I let the, you know, you know, you could be a world champion in six minutes, right? So that kind of snuck into my head. Um, this time, you know, I'm going to shut it all off. I'm going to figure out more stuff with the bachelorette party and my sister's wedding and, you know, talk to my family and my friends and just enjoy it and get a good night of sleep because I'm a little tired, so. I've been, the bachelorette party going to be? We're going to be Sounds in Nashville. Pretty, Nashville. Sounds pretty yeah. exciting. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, I always, I always look forward to competing because I know I get time off after, which is maybe not healthy, but maybe it's super healthy. So I'm looking forward to after this, getting to be with my family and hanging out and um, going to see my girlfriend and all that and just living life. Well earned time. Yeah. The other semifinal going on right now, kind of with Koba Ozaki, is there any opponent that you would want to wrestle over the other? Anyone, you know, I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be in blue tomorrow. So whoever's in the red singlet, I don't really care. Um, it would be cool to have a rematch of the finals last year and get that win, but I mean, I don't, I don't know, I think there was a challenge just now, I don't know what's going on, so whoever it is, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm a new and improved Kayla Merrill.